It's just like 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 I just explained, just a little feature. That it can see is for now. Now let's get let's get let's get started on the inking, like what to use and how to use it. Now there are two ways you you could ink here in Illustrator. You could use the pen tool or the brush tool. Now I'm gonna start with the pen tool first. Now with the pen, you could do this with a mouse as well. You don't need no Wacom tablet or a, or an Intuos, whatever tablet, any any digital tablet out there that you, that you can afford. You can also do this in in mouse. That's what Illustrator. A lot of people use the mouse and Illustrator and and like it's basically half and half. But whenever you want to color or draw whatever. It's always important to have a Wacom tablet. That way you have full control. And it's easier like to draw. Rather than, than using a mouse to draw. Because it's pretty hard. Trust me, I try it and it's, and it's really difficult. Some people could do it, but I can't. I, I need my I need my Wacom tablet. <laughs> but yeah, let, let's get started now. now I'm, I'm gonna click. Alright, let's say if it's full right now, right? All right, it's full like this. Look here in the left corner now. I want to ink it black, black line. So what I'm gonna do is just double click, just double click the square. Look for the black, 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 all the way down, black, and then just click OK. Now for that, what you want to do is just bring it down here. Cause if you have it up here, I have it selected as full. So whenever I gotta make sure I'm in the correct layer. Yep. So whenever I wanna now let's say if I want to make a, a perfect circle since I explained that earlier ago. I want to go to my ellipse tool. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to hold shift and then just click and drag. And then see I have a perfect proportion circle. See see what that happens? It fills in because I have this this option selected right here as a, as a fill in. And if, you, and if you just want it to be nothing by line up word like just just like a, a straight out uh, stroke or outline click this little option right here which is the the little red line which which it means that it's, it's gonna do no filling at all it's just gonna do nothing but stroke see there you go and then you just click on it and then you add the stroke point uh, let's say a, a one point you see it there it is and you just move it wherever you want and let's say you could just stretch it out make sure it fits his head and you can just tweak it a little bit however you want just, just modify it and then there you go and then you want to and then if you want to see the line of work all you gotta do is just check off the the sketch and there's your line of work and that's how you do a perfect circle just by going to the ellipse tool you could also do it with a pen, but it's more easier and it saves you more time by just doing the ellipse tool. Okay, so that's one way to get a perfect circle. So I'm just going to delete that right now. I don't need it. And go back to my sketch. And also, let me go back before I, before I like not start explaining too much. Let's say if you want to delete the circle, right? I mean this. Well, yeah, the circle. I can't say sphere because it's not a 3D object yet, but the circle. Let's say you want to delete it, you always gotta have it selected. So make sure you, you click on the path. See, every time you point at the lines and say path, you click on the path, just click it. Make sure you have the move tool, okay? The move tool is pretty important. Or the the move tool, or whatever this one, the converter tool. The move tool. When you have it selected, now you could delete it by just pressing the, the keyboard backspace, delete, whatever, just backspace. There you go, delete it. If you don't have it selected, it's not gonna delete anything. So make sure you select the path, and there you go. It's, it's it, and just click it, and then just delete it. Now, let me go to a pen tool. Now for the pen tool, like I just said, this option right here for filling, and this option right here for for just stroke line. And this is what I mean. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the filling, just how I did the 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 lips tool. Make sure this is important, right? Let me go back. When you start clicking, 
you could either click and drag and then you start converting it already but I don't I don't like doing that yet I like doing that after um after I'm done selecting my 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 little um, key points this is what I like doing I just click 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 and make sure you always you always connect the so yo where wherever you started clicking in the beginning that's gonna be your end okay so when you see your end you're gonna see this little circle right next to that pencil you see it when you see it just click it boom there you go it's already connected so this is a full object already so to start tweaking it you just go right here to your converter anchor tool point whatever I just call it the converter I don't, I don't need to call the whole thing just hit the converter tool and then just click hold and drag and then start messing around with the anchor points or with the handles whatever they call here the handlebar the handles <laughs> just click and drag hold and just hold the hand just hold it and just see it's not a perfect circle but you get the gesture of what I'm saying now let's say you're like oh man I was supposed to do a line of you know it needs to be stroke like I said click on the path and then click on this for for no stroke now I go back yeah you gotta switch it like that there we go switch it so if you don't switch it it's gonna come out white you see it's gonna change to white which is not, not what you want so before I accidentally get y'all confused <laughs> I just wanted to correct this, okay? So let's say if you have black right here, don't just click this, cause or I was gonna cancel it and then just leave it blank. So make sure you, when you when you have it black, all you gotta do is just go to these little arrows and just click it, and it's, so it's gonna switch. And there you go. See the lines already are are up now. They're selected right now. Right here, you could play around with the line of work. You could either, like I said, make the line bigger like a four point and then this option right here where it says uniform you could you see these options right here you these you could play around with where, you, where your own line work like I, I always like using this the first option right here which is from thin to thick this basically to me pressure it adds like pressure to your to your lines even though you did even though you did not do it with a with a brush tool with a brush tool you gotta do it yourself which I'm gonna get back I'm, I'm gonna get into that later but I just want to cover the the pen tool first now I'm gonna click the first option and it's gonna look if, it, if it's actually from 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 a pen let me take out the sketch <clears throat> see it looks from thin to thick see it looks like if I just barely added some pressure right here and then Little by little, I started adding pressure, pressure, and then mean no pressure, 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 and then lightly pressure, light, 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 until super thin. So, remember, whenever you want to change the the size of your your line, the line, any line, make sure you have it selected. Because if you don't have it, like right now, I don't have it selected. I could be doing this, and I'll be like, wait, what? Like, why is nothing changing? Why is nothing changing? You know. And the same thing with the points. You want to make it. You want to make a point to 16, whatever, and, and it's not increasing. You're like, well, what's happening? You know, I'm trying to increase it, but nothing's happening. It's because you always gotta select your object. Remember, path, all right? Select it. Remember, you always have the move tool. And then there you go. Now you can start. Like you could add a. That's a five point. I'm gonna put it to a ten. See the line actually got thicker and bigger. Same thing. I could um select any option right here. See how everything changes, and and it's up to you. However you want, you're the artist. You could you could do whatever you want. Okay, make sure you click on it, and then just keep on selecting any options they they give you here that you want to use or not. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Like if you wanna mess around with line work. To make it look if it's actually if it's if it's like pen pressure style or just basic which is just a straight <clears throat> simple stroke line like all plain so yeah that's pretty much it for the pen uh I forgot about this option here basically yeah that's pretty much it and yeah that's pretty much it for the pen 
and like I said whenever you want to tweak it or modify it your converter tool it's right here make sure you click and hold to get back the pen right so when you're done using the pen blah 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 whatever or or you want to make a, a nice curve like a, like a rainbow curve all you gotta do is just click one and then two and then that's it don't worry about it and then just go to your converter tool and then click these click these little anchor points click and hold and then just drag up and then boom there you go let me zoom out because I, I was zoomed in too much and you see there you go you have like a like almost a rainbow or a nice arc now if you want to start stretching it out you gotta use this this tool right here there's the there's the there's another move tool you could just click and then just hold and then just you see you start modifying it Let's see and you cannot and you cannot move these anchor points with the converter tool okay you gotta use this uh, the direction all the direct selection tool <laughs> see it's, it's been so long that I haven't used the the pen tool that I forgot the name of this <laughs> the name of this tool which is uh, the direct selection the selection tool but anyways like I said I just mainly use the pen the, the, the brush and, and the pen also but I don't really worry about tweaking the, the anchor points but anyways like I said this allows you to adjust the same thing right here. I'm gonna, I can move this right here, and then I can start make, and I can make it look like if it's a teardrop. You see, it's starting to look like a teardrop. Or uh, let's say, just move this down here. I'm gonna move this down here, and then it's starting to look like a heart. And like I said, man, just you can only move these anchor points only with the selection tool, with the direct selection tool. Yeah, selection tool. But you cannot move it with the with the converter tool, okay? Because the converter tool it, it just modifies it. See, so I could I could click and hold it. What's gonna do is just gonna modify it. See, now it looks like a B. And and like I said, with the selection tool, I just click and hold and see it moves the anchor point. You see? And the move tool just allows you to move the the whole object. See? It just allows you to do that. That's it. Or just stretch it. See, stretch it or squash it. Whatever you can make it look like this perspective coming this way. You see, all you gotta do is just play around with it. It's just this is nothing but simple stuff. It's it's nothing difficulty right now until you start making your own work and then just start you know doing your own thing. But other than that, it, it's pretty much easy to. It's pretty much easy to. Not to master, but to get the hang of it, you know, to to know it, so you could become so you could become a, an average Illustrator user for just pen and pen and um brush tool.